let's go to Axure to actually do that. In Axure, you go to the an active tab and you click on the direction panel in the right side of your screen. Here are going to be listed all the interactions you can do with the component that is selected here in your canvas. So you can either have the effect of um, mouse enter, for instance, when you mouse enter this zone, something will happen. But you could also apply this effect to all that section. To do that, we are going to use the image, image map region component. So you put the image map region there. Oh, sorry. You make it as big as the dynamic panel and you apply the mouse enter effect in the on that image map region um, widget so double click here on that on that panel you can see that you have all the actions you can do for that uh, specific widget so you click on set panel state to to state so which panel would you like to select it's the dp thumbnail here and uh, what you want to achieve is to actually, uh, uh, when you mouse enter uh, this widget, you will go to the active state for that uh, dynamic panel there. So let's click on OK. It's as easy as that. And now let's let's watch the prototype. I'm generating it. So what we have now is if I mouse enter it, oh, it changes. That worked. But now if I mouse out. Oh, nothing happens. Let's correct that. So I'm going to the active, active, uh, active tab, and I do exactly the same. I put the image map region, and this time I'm going to use the on mouse out event. I still select the set panel state to state, this state, and I want to to choose the unactive tab. Let's click on OK. Let's generate that prototype again. Okay, it's generated again. So you mouse enter and you mouse out and it's working now. Yoohoo! You've you've done your first dynamic panel. But we can enhance that a little bit. Let's just do that now. So what I wanted to do, you know, on the on the real side, when you actually mouse over, the image fades. Uh, there is a transition effect that appears, that applies, sorry, and it lasts a, a nearly one second, you know, that it fades out and fades in. Uh, we are going to, to, to do that now and we, we are also going to have, add a special effect uh, that will blur the image uh, behind. But for that, unfortunately, we will have to actually um, just move, move out the image map region widget just for a little bit. And here we are going to add a small rectangle which have as the exact dimension of the of your component there. Here we go, and then you are going to use the back back uh, backward uh, stuff. Now it, it's it's backward, and you are going to add some transparency to it, as well as a color. Let's do that. Mm, yeah, sort of. No, it's too. It's not transparent enough. Okay, so it's a little bit better that way. And now I'm going to put back this component. Here we go. Let's add some transition effect now. So uh, you select that, that state here. So remember it's the action to actually uh, go from one state to, the, to another. You click here. And we are going to animate it a little bit. And we are going to make it so it's nearly one second to fade in the current state. And here we are going to fade out. Fade out. OK. Let's generate it now. And does that work? I don't know. We'll try. Oh. It's working, but it's a little bit slow. Let's just change the length of the effect. Okay, so 800 milliseconds is way too fast. Uh, too slow, sorry. Let's put that. And in the act an active tab, it's also 
too slow. We generate the prototype again. But as you can see, there is a, a flickering here. I don't like that effect at all. That effect, you go on the inactive tab here, and you actually s select, instead of animating in the effect, you animate out the same effect with the, the fade here and uh, 300 milliseconds. Let's try that. Okay. Oh, it's working exactly as we want it now.